dear students today we are going to start a new chapter in integral calculus known as quadrature now what is meant by quadrature quadrature is the process of finding out the area under any bounded portion of a curve is known as quadrature now you have studied this in class 12th let's revise those formulae Suppose y is equal to f x is a curve, and there are two lines x is equal to a, x is equal to b, parallel to y axis. And if we want to find out area bounded by y is equal to f x, x is equal to a, x is equal to b, and x axis, then this portion, this area is given by a to b y dx. Similarly. If curve is of the form x is equal to f of y, and the lines are parallel to x-axis, say y is equal to c and y is equal to t, then the area bounded by x is equal to f y, lines y is equal to c, y is equal to t, and y-axis is given by c to d x dy. These two formulas you have already studied in class 12. So let's take examples. Let's take few examples. The first example is to trace the curve a y square is equal to x square into a minus x and show that area of its loop is 8 upon 15 a square. So these are the two things we are supposed to do in this problem. First thing we have to trace this curve. Now because I have already explained tracing of the curves in detail, so I won't write the steps here. But in case this question comes in examination, then you have to trace, you have to, you have to give the steps of tracing and then you have to find out the area. Okay, so what do what can you say about symmetry of this curve? Because powers of y are even, so curve is symmetric about x axis. If you put y is equal to 0, we shall get x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. Tangents at the origin are y is equal to plus minus x, so origin is a node. And you can see that curve will not exist when x is greater than a because in that case y square will be negative. So shape of the curve is like this. We already done it. Now we have to find out area of this loop. <coughs> now you can see from the figure x varies from 0 to a. So area of the loop will be 2 times 0 to a y dx. Why do we multiply it by 2? Because if we take 0 to a y dx, we will get area of the upper portion. Now, because curve is symmetric about x axis, <coughs> so we have to multiply it by 2. <coughs> so now substitute the value of y. Now, what is y from here? y is x into under root of a minus x upon root a into dx. Now, what should be the substitution here? <coughs> When we have a minus x, then we make the substitution x is equal to a sine square theta. So therefore dx is 2a sine theta cos theta into d theta. So substitute these values here. Limits for theta will become 0 to pi by 2. So area is equal to 2 upon under root a 0 to pi by 2. In place of x we have a sine square theta under root of a minus a sine square theta and in place of dx we have 2a sine theta cos theta d theta. If we simplify it 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So we will get it as 4a square 0 to pi by 2 sine group theta into cos square theta into d theta. Now how do we evaluate this integral? <coughs> we make use of a formula. Okay, let me just uh, finish it then I will explain what is meant by gamma function. So this is 4a square, gamma of 3 plus 1 by 2, gamma of 2 plus 1 by 2, divided by 2 times gamma of 3 plus 2 plus 2 upon 2, which is 4a square into gamma 2 into gamma 3 by 2, divided by 2 gamma 7 by 2. <coughs> now gamma 2 is 1 factorial, that is 1. Gamma 3 by 2 is 1 by 2 into root of pi. Gamma 7 by 2 is 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into root of pi. 
So simplify it, we will get it as 8a square upon 15. Now let us uh, briefly discuss what is meant by gamma function. The gamma function denoted by this, this is known as gamma function, gamma n, is defined by the improper integral because limits are from 0 to infinity. Gamma n is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus x, x to the power n minus 1 into dx, where n is a positive real number. We shall study about beta and gamma function in a separate chapter later on. Okay, for the time being, you remember these things. Gamma n is factorial n minus 1, where n is a positive real number. Suppose you have to find out what is gamma 5. So what will be gamma 5? Gamma 5 will be factorial 4. Factorial 4 is 24. Right? And gamma half is given by under root of 5. Gamma 3 by 2, subtract 1 from here. So, what is uh, gamma 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into gamma half. Gamma half is under root of 5. Gamma 5 by 2, subtract 1. So, 3 by 2, then 1 by 2, then gamma half that is under root of 5. Similarly, gamma 11 by 2 is 9 upon 2, 7 upon 2, 5 upon 2, 3 upon 2, 1 upon 2 into under root of 5. So, I think you have understood how to find it. Suppose you have to find gamma 9 by 2, then gamma 9 by 2 will start with 7 by 2, then 5 by 2, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, under root of 5. It should be noted that gamma 0 is infinity and gamma n is also infinity if n is a negative real number. Now, we shall be using this formula very often. Kindly remember this formula. 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power m cos theta to the power n d theta is gamma m plus 1 upon 2 gamma n plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2 gamma m plus n plus 2 by 2 where m is greater than minus 1 and n is also greater than minus 1. Now remember this formula is applicable only when the limits are from 0 to pi by 2. So we have made use of this formula in the previous problem example. What is m here? m is 3, n is 2. So, gamma m plus 1 by 2 is gamma 3 plus 1 by 2. Gamma 2 plus 1 by 2 divided by gamma m plus n plus 2 upon 2, that means 3 plus 2 plus 2 upon 2. So, we have this expression. Then, gamma 3 by 2, 1 by 2 into root pi. Gamma 7 by 2, 5 upon 2, 3 upon 2, 1 upon 2 root that's how we have made use of the formula. Okay, let's take the next example. Trace the curve y square into 2a minus x is equal to x cube and find the entire area between the curve and its asymptote. We have done this example also. Curve is symmetric about x axis. Asymptote parallel to y axis. Coefficient of highest power of y is 2a minus x. So when you put 2a minus x is equal to 0, we have got x is equal to 2a. So this is the asymptote and curve will not exist when x is negative or x is greater than 2a. So we have to find out the entire area between the curve and its asymptotes. So we shall find out area of the upper portion and then multiply it by 2. What is x coordinate here at the origin? x coordinate is 0. And x coordinate at this point is 2a. So the limits for x will be from 0 to 2a. So required area is 2 times 0 to 2a y dx. Now put the value of y from the given curve. y shall be, y will be x to the power 3 by 2 upon under root of 2a minus x. And now what do we substitute here? We substitute x is equal to 2a sine square theta. So, when x is equal to 2a sine square theta, dx is 4a sine theta cos theta d theta. Now, substitute these values here. So, area is 2 times 0 to pi by 2, 2a sine square theta raised to the power 3 by 2, divided by under root of 2a minus 2a sine square theta, and in place of dx, we write 4a sine theta cos theta d theta, which comes out to be 16a square 0 to pi by 2 sine theta to the power 4 d theta. 
Now, what is m here? m is 4. What is n here? 0. But there is no power of cos theta. So now I apply that formula. So this is 16a squared, gamma 4 plus 1 upon 2, that is gamma 5 upon 2. Then gamma 0 plus 1 upon 2, that is gamma half, divided by 2 gamma 4 plus 0 plus 2 upon 2. Right? So this is 8a squared, gamma 5 by 2 is 3 upon 2, 1 by 2 into root 5, gamma half is under root of 5, and uh, gamma 6 upon 2, so gamma 3. So, gamma 3 is factorial 2. Yeah, that's right. Gamma 3 is factorial 2. That is 2 into 1. So, this comes out to be 3 pi a square. Okay. Okay, let's take uh, one more example. Trace the curve a square y square is equal to a square x square minus x to the power 4 and find the whole area within it. Now, you can see from equation of the curve that the curve is symmetric about both the x, x axis as well as y axis. If you put y is equal to 0, we shall get x is equal to 0 and plus minus a. And I think we have done tracing of this curve also. So we have to find out the whole area. So we will find out area of this portion and then multiply it by 4. So therefore required area is 4 times area of half a loop. That is 4 times 0 to a y dx, which is 4 times 0 to a. Substitute the value of y from here. We shall have x into root a square minus x square upon a dx. Now because we have got a square minus x square, so we make the substitution x is equal to a sin theta. So x is equal to a sin theta. So dx is equal to a cos theta d theta. So put these values here. So area is equal to 4 a square 0 to pi by 2 <coughs> cos square theta sin theta d theta. So which is 4 a square gamma 3 upon 2 gamma 1 plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2 gamma 2 plus 1 plus 2 upon 2. So gamma 3 upon 2 half into root pi gamma 2 upon 2 gamma 1 is 1 gamma 5 upon 2 is 3 upon 2 1 by 2 root pi. So this comes out to be 4 upon 3 a square. So I think it is clear. We shall take a few more examples in the next lecture. Thank you so much.